In this tutorial, we will learn how to create this object in AutoCAD 2007. At first, we will need to start some 3D toolbars. To activate 3D toolbars, right click on any toolbar. Then select modeling. Again right click. Then second is solid editing. Right click. UCS2. View. And visual styles. So for 3D, you will need to activate these toolbars modeling, solid editing, visual style, view, and UCS2. You can place any toolbar anywhere except this UCS2. This toolbar needs to be horizontal so that we can choose our UCS easily. So we'll put this UCS2 at the center. Then this modeling here, solid editing here. Then I want to take this modify toolbar on left side. So this is draw toolbar which was already active. Then view and visual style below here. And I don't want this draw order. I will remove it. Now we want to create this drawing in MM. So we will click on new. And we will select this ACAD ISO template. Click on open. Then give the units command. UN enter. And choose insertion scale as millimeter. Unit is decimal. And decimal degrees precision is 0 for angle. Click on OK. Then some more settings are required to be done. Now here polar tracking is on. Then object snap is on. Right click on object snap. Click on setting. Here I will need midpoint, endpoint, midpoint, center, intersection and extension. OK. Then I want this object snap tracking on. Then I don't need this dynamic UCS. So I will make it off. I want this dynamic input on so that it will show the input on the screen and all the other setting I will keep it off. Then towards the Z axis click on AC isometric. So it will show you the Z. Then to shift this UCS icon on the left side, give UCS icon command. UCS icon, enter and choose no origin. So it will be shifted on the left side. Then in this object, at first we will create this rectangle of 96 by 64. And we will convert it into 3D and give thickness of 16. Click on rectangle. Give the first point, take your cursor away, then give the length in x direction, we want it 96, then give comma, then give the length in y direction, that is 64, enter. Then zoom it. Then to convert this rectangle into 3D, click on press pull. Press pull, then take your cursor inside this shape, then click, then give the direction, I want to take it up. And give the thickness of 16 enter and then to give solid look click on conceptual visual style so this bottom plate is ready and next will be to create this vertical plate of 64 by 64 size and again thickness is 16 but this plate is vertical to create this plate we will need to change the UCS now we will have to work on this plane. Now this plane is parallel to this plane. If you want to work on this plane then you will have to choose right UCS. So click here and choose right. 
and check that your x y is vertical and z is horizontal then again give the rectangle command take it away give the rectangle give the first point take it away give the length of 64 comma 64 enter then again zoom it again click on press pull take your cursor inside click Give the direction, give the thickness of 16, enter. Then we will move it. Click on move, select this object, enter, then select this endpoint, pan it, zoom it, and place it at this end and click. We don't want this rectangle. Give the erase command E enter then select this square and enter then double click middle mouse button for zoom extent now this object and this object are separate we want to merge them to merge them click on union and select both the object and press enter then next will be to create this fillet of 48 radius for that click on fillet then select this line then give the radius of 48 enter and again enter so this fillet of 48 is created and next will be to create this portion now we are on the right plane so what we will do we will create this right side rectangle now here height is 28 and the length of this rectangle will be 64 minus this 22 that is 42 so we will create a rectangle of 28 by 42 click on rectangle give this point as a first point take your cursor away now if you watch it properly the first coordinate is minus that means to create rectangle on this side we will have to give first parameter with negative sign give negative sign then give 42 comma Give the height of 28, enter. This rectangle is created. Then length of this rectangle will be 24 plus 8 plus 8, that is 40. Again click on press pull. Take your cursor inside this rectangle. Then click, take it away. Then give the length of 40, enter. Then next will be to create this circle of 24 diameter that is 12 radius now this circle is created on this surface to work on this surface we will have to change UCS to front plane click here and choose front here now XY is vertical and Z is horizontally in this direction and click on circle Give the center point at the midpoint of this line, take it away, give the radius of 12, enter. Then to cut it, again click on press pull, take your cursor inside this circle, then click. Take it ahead of this rectangular block and click. So it will cut it. Then we don't want this circle, for that click on erase, select this circle and enter and next will be to create this triangle click on line then track this point take your cursor away and click again track this end point for tracking take your cursor on the point don't click there Without clicking, take it away. So it will track it. Now it is perfectly vertical. Click. Again, take your cursor on this point. Take it away. Track it. And click. And connect back. And enter. Then to convert this into 3D, zoom it. And again, press pull. Then take your cursor inside. Now here it is not press pulling it, I don't know why, but I have one solution, we will just escape it, we will move it away from this 3D object, click on move, 
select this triangle enter give the base point take it away then zoom this shape and again click on press 4 then take your cursor inside now it is press pulling it give the direction give the length of 12 and enter then again move it click on move select this object enter then take this point as a base point then zoom minus and give this point as a second point then erase this triangle click on erase then select this object and press enter press middle mouse button twice now this portion is also ready then next will be to create this cut now here this gap is 16 this width is 16 this length is 20 and the diameter of the circle will be 16 zoom here now again this needs to be created on this plane to work on this plane you will have to choose top UCS click here and select top now in the case of top xy is horizontal and z is vertical then to take the reference of this line we will use this command copy edge select copy edge click on this line enter give the base point in empty space give the direction and give the length of 16 enter again click on copy select this edge enter give the base point give the direction ensure that angle is 90 degree or you can also make this ortho on so that it will be definitely straight then give the length of 32 enter again copy select this edge enter give the base point give the direction give the length of 20 enter then click on exit and exit then we need to cut this portion for that again click on press pull then take your cursor inside now it is not press pulling just zoom minus and watch the complete object then it will press pull then click take your cursor below and click then we need circle here for that click on circle take this midpoint and for radius take this endpoint and click then again we need to cut this again click on press pull take your cursor inside zoom minus take your cursor below and click then erase unwanted lines and circles for that click on erase and select this circle this line this line and this line and press enter and one more it is this one and enter to orbit it press shift press middle mouse button and drag the mouse so that you can see it from back side also or any side now here you don't need this line select it and click on erase and we want this to be combined for that again click on union select this object and select this object and press enter now it is perfect click on ACI isometric then to give color to this object just double click on it and from here choose your desired color I want this green and press escape and close it so that's all thanks for watching we will stop here